I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Kind of. Well, actually, I am back. Okay, so basically, this is what I came up with. Hopefully, I can stick to it. I want to post a new video every Tuesday and every Friday, but if the Friday video doesn't make it up, in time I'm thinking it's gonna go up on Saturday morning or so ish but we shall see okay so I know a lot of you like my health videos because you know like we're all just on this journey we want to be healthy we want to be in shape or whatever but um so I, you know what, I just felt like it was time for me to make this video because I'm big on doing things when it feels right. I go with my gut, I go with my instincts, my intuition. I have never been wrong when I went with my gut or my instinct, my intuition, my inner being speaking to me or my guides helping me. I've never been wrong. But I have been wrong when I went against it. Always. Always. But anyway, so I know it's kind of small to be talking about a video, you know. But I didn't feel it was right earlier to make this video. So now it feels like the right time to make this video. Which is a big introduction into this video. But um, basically, we're going to talk about me falling off track. I fell off track. That's what we're going to talk about. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to give you some back history on me. I didn't really have too much. I never was skinty minty. But I didn't really have much of a weight issue until after I had my daughter. I got all the way up into the twos. I think when I was nine months pregnant, I got up to like 238, girl. And I am or, or, a guy, girl and guy, because I know guys watch me too. But, um, baby, I'm only 5'3", okay? So, to be 200 anything at 5'3 is way too much. I don't care what anybody says. Um, as far as the girls who are, you know, BBW or whatever and they love it. Well, I don't say BBW because then that just means black woman. Any, you know, bigger woman and you love it. You like it, I love it. But let's be real, it's not healthy. It's good that you're confident because I do believe that you should be confident at every every size but confidence and healthy don't you know they're two totally different things confidence is healthy but you know weight and all the other stuff you know it's gonna get too deep i don't want to offend anybody but you know it's just being honest and you know your doctor will tell you the same thing everybody's gonna tell you the same thing so it's no need for me to get into it because i'm not a doctor and i don't want nobody fussing with me because i might fuss back <laughs> So anyways, I fell off track, um, and yeah, so we go back a little bit, but yeah, so I was really heavy after I had my daughter. I breastfed for a little while. Um, I would have breastfed longer, but my milk dried up, but breastfeeding definitely helped me lower my weight fast without working out, <laughs> without really having to eat right. The breast milk really lowered my weight really fast, so I suggest that to any woman that's about to have a baby. Um, that is the magic pill. Breastfeeding is the magic pill. But I only did it for three months. My milk dried up. And back then, I didn't really know. You know, they didn't have all that stuff out. Or people weren't really talking about all the natural remedies of taking milk thistle. You know, all that weird stuff now that you can do. Not really weird, but you know what I'm talking about. You can go to a health food store and get all kinds of stuff now that I help with your milk production. Back then, it wasn't that popular. Or maybe I just wasn't looking into it. So, But anyways, I would have breastfed longer, but I couldn't. So anyways, I was just huge after I had my daughter. I had never really been that big. Um, I think my biggest size before my daughter probably was a size 10, maybe a 12. And then when I hit 12, I definitely knew what to do to drop weight. And I could drop weight. Ever since I had her, my weight has kind of been like a struggle. But a couple of years ago, I went on this healthy journey. I lost my gallbladder. Matter of fact, when that Chris Brown, Rihanna thing happened, I was in the hospital. And I saw it on the TV in my room. So I, I lost my gallbladder. I was going into... Oh, I, I was going to surgery the next day, I believe, um, but I was laying in the bed and when I saw a flash across the screen. So that time and is when I lost my gallbladder. But um, since I lost my gallbladder, I don't know.
don't know if I want to blame it on that or not, but if you research it, people will say it's hard to lose weight. I kind of believe that because it seems like it's hard for me to keep it off. Like, I, ha I, don't, I don't have no room for error, you know, like most people might. But anyways, um, I started kind of falling off around May, June-ish, but not really. Um, I just kind of like slowed, like I started tapping the brakes a little bit, just a little bit. July came and I was halfway on them breaks. You know what I'm saying? August came, I had hit them things. Okay, I was already, I was pushed down on them things. Okay, I was all, I was stopped. In September came, I was digging them breaks into the ground. Okay, like they was hitting, I was digging them into the ground. So you know the rest. October, I started kind of saying okay let me get back into it november now i am a lot better i'm getting back into it but this happens to me almost every year ever since i've had my daughter or ever since i've been on my healthy food journey um i'll do good usually in the fall is when i'll start up and i'll be doing really good and through spring and everything then the summer comes and it's usually around july because that's my birthday month and I hate to say that, that like, because I don't want to make it seem like I'm losing weight for my birthday because I'm not losing weight for my birthday. It's just that that's that time of celebration. You want to be kind of carefree. That's when I think I start to kind of like fall off track and lose my focus. Don't want to. You remember that Brandy song? Don't want to lose my focus. Anyways, I love Brandy. But anyway, so that's when I start to lose my focus is around July. And it's like a, it's a bad cycle for me and I hate it because I don't really I'm not mad at myself because I did it to myself I'm not mad about it but it's just I'm more bothered by the fact that it happens every year you know what I mean like and, and I know what's gonna happen and I still it's like a it's like a train wreck you see it coming but you can't stop it and I don't know I don't know maybe I need to go to a hypnotist or something I don't know uh, you know, but I'm trying to get it together. But anyways, long story short, y'all, you know, I don't even, don't ask me how much I gained because I don't get on the scale. I never really got on the scale, even when I was losing and you saw me losing and all this other stuff. I don't like the scale because I feel like it's very, for me, it's very, it throws me off. So anyways, I fell off track and I can visibly tell my face is chubbier. I'm getting this little, you see this little double chin action going. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And my stomach area, I ain't even going to show you. I ain't going to show you. But anyways, you know, I'm getting it back together. It's getting better. But so, yeah, so that's this video. I, I mean, really, it's not much to it. It's not much to talk about. But I am a stress eater. Maybe I should touch on that. I am a stress eater, and I started getting really stressed. And that kind of triggered it too, especially because normally, you know, like I was saying, I started tapping the brakes a little bit in May, June. That's when stress started around May or June. And I started tapping the brakes because it's not like I'm doing it purposely. It's just that I'm a stress eater. And when I'm stressed, it's hard for me to keep my focus on things that are important. Like I'll forget to do really important things because I'm so focused on stress. You know, part of that stress is this J-O-B, honey. That's a whole nother video. I might have to make another video on that one, but yes. So, yeah, I just wanted to be real with y'all. I felt like now was the time to be real. I just, I feel more comfortable talking about it now, maybe because I'm getting back on track. It's hard to talk about how you fell off track when you're still off track, when you're still, you know, not really getting back on it. So I'm getting back on it. I've been back on it really since like October, October, but, um, yeah so so that is that honey you know that's pretty much it you know and it, the it makes me feel a little bit better that other people have been off track too it could because it's like okay i know i'm not the only one um i even have um other folks who, or people who are doing herbal life with me and they were like girl i fell off guess what i fell off too we're all human i'm no better than them they're no better than me you know we're just all human and some of us have real issues with food and i will say that i am one of those people i have real issues with food i'm a stress eater for one i've always been like this like i used to be like i would get bored and go get a whole box of pizza from pizza hut because i'm bored you know what i mean so it's like okay well that's fun pizza's fun 
I'll just watch TV, eat pizza. That's fun. It's more fun than just watching TV on, you know, by myself, you know, or, you know, just watching TV without pizza. It was more fun with pizza, if that makes sense. So, anyways, that's how I used to be. And I could eat a whole box of pizza by myself back in the day. Um, old habits die hard. I haven't gotten a whole box of pizza or anything like that. But I'm just saying, like, some people have real issues with food. And I'm not afraid to admit I am definitely one of those people that I feel that I have an issue with food. I'm a stress eater. I'm a bored eater. I'm a happy eater. I'm a everything eater, okay? And so it's, and I, but I like healthy foods too. So it's just that switch of, okay, you know, how about we veg out, you know, on healthy food? Or how about we just go in on some healthy food instead of junk? You know, sometimes I just crave the junk and then I, you know, I fall into the cravings. But anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. And just to let you know that it's okay. Everybody falls off track. I fell off track. You know, we all fall off track. We all fall down sometimes, you know. But get back up. That's all. And, yeah, that's it. I'm back on it. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, I will talk to you guys later. You like my twist out? Mm-hmm, girl. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye.